All right, well, Johnny Davros come up with a new one that's real fun and ingenious. I don't really understand how he came up with this, but he found out that a voltage regulator, a little 3.3-volt uh, voltage regulator, will work as just an oscillator to oscillate a coil and make an LED go, or oscillate a coil, drive another coil, uh, create um, energy off of a secondary to charge something. Anyway, it's an ingenious idea, and it works. Um, I was very surprised. Uh, I got it to work on the first go. Now, I didn't have the correct part here. Um, I, I ordered some today, but uh, the part that I got, I found at a store. Luckily, it did work. It's an NTE-1904, and it's a 3.3 volt and they need to have a low dropout voltage. That's very critical for this to work, I've decided. And uh, I rearranged things a little bit because I could not get the LED to light here, Johnny. I had to put it between here and here. And I don't know if that's this uh, part that I've got here that's different than yours or what, but I couldn't get it to go here. I had to go here and here. But I ran all kinds of coils here, all kinds of Bedini spinners and you name it for this part here, and it works great. This is a great little oscillator. Um, I had to run mine with 1.6 to about uh, two and a half volts. I couldn't get it to run on that low voltage because of the part I have. And like I say, I rearranged this a bit. And I've got this on a little uh, spinner motor. And um, it's our one magnet, no bearing motor, Johnny, that uh, I put on a frame with bearings. And you can see how I have this white LED hooked up to my part here. And I have a 25 ohm rheostat, wire wound rheostat, to vary this voltage here to get this to go into resonance to drive that magnet. And it worked like a champ. And anyway, I was uh, extremely happy with the way this worked out. And uh, there's my little generator coil on this side. And I just have it running a, a red LED. But this is where you can put your bridge rectifier for charging if you wanted to do it. And here's the setup right here. And uh, there's the whole thing with uh, my little friend here. With uh, She's got the little ball in her mouth tonight to uh, show how that works. Uh, this is a, a spinner motor you've seen before. These uh, coils are joined together. This is the generator coil. These are the drive coils. And that's just the one part that makes the oscillator right there. That's a voltage regulator, 3.3 volt voltage regulator. That's the back spike LED there, the white one. And that's the red generator LED. It's a 1.5 volt LED. Okay, let me see if I can get this to go here. It's my rheostat here. There it goes. There goes the red LED and the white LED. And there's my little friend Maggie. And I just think that is the coolest thing that you came up with. And the way I understand the story, you figured out that on these voltage regulators they buzzed. And you decided that that was an oscillator. And man, what a neat little setup. Like I say, I've got a, a rheostat here to uh, adjust it with to get it to all go into sync. Because this is almost one of those frequency type of things. But uh, man, that worked great, Johnny. And thanks for the thanks for the circuit. And thanks for the idea. I just got to get the right one though to make it work like yours. But just worked great, just absolutely great. And uh, I was really, really uh, happy to see that work. And that's your whole circuit, folks, right there. That one part right there, that voltage regulator, is all you need. And uh, that's it. And that makes uh, one of these uh, pulse motor charger things with one part. <laughs> um, if you use uh, uh, that two volts or whatever right in here, you don't need the rheostat at all. It'll just run. And I happen to have a, um, a battery here that's 1.6 volts. It's a strange one. It's a nickel zinc rechargeable. A company down here in San Diego makes them. And uh, it's 1.6 volts. And this will run it. Let me show you how this works here. And uh, I was uh, playing around with this a lot today to, to make it work on this thing here. Let 
and get it to go. Okay, there it's running on that one AA battery. Now, like I say, that AA battery is 1.6 volts, but there it is running away on just that one. Maggie's happy with it. Now, her, her ball is spinning up in the mouth, folks. That's how that she is operated. She doesn't have any batteries. It's just a coil of wire with a bridge rectifier and a couple of LEDs. And that ball, it's a neodymium sphere ball, and it spins up inside that coil, creates energy, and then uh, drives her LEDs. And that's what I find really interesting about these projects where I'm doing this, is that's being driven remotely through flux lines of magnetism and putting out enough energy to light those LEDs. Granted, it's not much amperage, but there's some there, and that's got to be about 2 volts to light up those LEDs. So I, I find this real interesting. Um, the amp draw is pretty high on mine, Johnny. It's anywhere from about uh, 10 up to about 30 milliamps. So uh, here again, I, I don't have the right part. But anyway, that's the show for tonight, folks. That's this new voltage regulator oscillator by Johnny Davro. Go over to his YouTube channel and check it out. Johnny Davro.